What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Guys, you know, Kevin Samuels came out with this particular saying that was on the TV show. Um, it's been very, very popular right now, which is called Winter is Coming, right? You've been talking about that about the last month or so. And basically, it, it discusses about a lot of women, okay, who are sort of in limbo, not financially prepared, not prepared with a family, not prepared to uh, appeal to the right kind of guys. And because of their mistakes or lack of, you know, certain direction or prepared or preparation uh, for tough times, winter is coming. And that means that tough times are going to be ahead for them. Well, a lot of times we saw this, you know, with, with OnlyFans models. Now, obviously, um, OnlyFans, those women have been reinstated, but um, but we see that it's hard for most of them. Most ladies who are stripping, uh, IG modeling, it's so common now that it's hard for, you know, because everybody has a, a fake booty now. Um, you don't even know what booty is real, what booty is fake, what's plastic or not. So because that economy is kind of drying up because of so much competition, some ladies are, are are getting so greedy in the strip in, in these streets, right? So now let me introduce you to this one chick called Anti-Vax Mama. Mrs. Jasmine Clifford. Now she is um you know weaving the salad up, okay? Uh, but anti-vax mama is um you know, it's not enough for her to be bouncing those cheeks every day. Booty clapping sounds. It's it's not an, enough for her to do that. I guess OnlyFans ain't paying enough money. No, because Jasmine Clifford um, is out here selling phony vaccination cards for two hundred dollars. She showed two fifty of them. Doing the math, that's fifty thousand dollars. Okay. And they also have arrested her. 13 buyers of the bogus cards. Now, many of these people who work in hospitals. Now, this is how dumb y'all are. I mean, this is just like a, a, as stupid as, um, you know, the whole COVID, um, you know, what do you call those things they were doing? Those relief um that there was relief fund things, uh, PPP loans, you know. And I remember my mom telling me when I was in Uganda. She said, "Well, son, you have a business. You can get a PPP loan." And I told her, "So for what? Like, I'm doing okay. I don't need the money. Let somebody else who who needs it use it." But you see, the reality is, is that a lot of these OnlyFans models and these other ladies out there, they they, they get into these businesses thinking that it's going to be easy. You know, um, stripping and and, 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 and and IG modeling and all that stuff. Don't get me wrong; it's money in it, but it's work. Just like it's it's hard getting big on YouTube. It's hard getting OnlyFans customers. It's hard stripping. I'm pretty sure it's hard being an IG model. So when you don't want to work and you don't want to work at what you're trying to do and you don't want to have the skills to do things, then what do you start doing? I'll tell you what you start doing. You start breaking the law. Okay, because you want that car so bad, you want that house so bad, you want everything so quick and so fast, and you don't want to work for it. The way you're gonna do it, you're gonna steal. Now I'm not saying all of these ladies do that because they don't. Um, I don't think so, at least. But I guess you know trying to sell some cheeks wasn't enough, right? Um, I don't know if she was doing that, but you out here trying to steal from people and selling phony vaccination cards. Okay, as if you wasn't gonna get caught. Now your ass is going to the feds, okay? And it's a lot of ladies that got caught up in those PPP scams, okay? And then, but the, the thing about it was though was was, was this: <laughs> this person got busted. They were they were doing this stuff 
what this other guy named, you know, she was doing this with another guy. TZ Entertainment. They were promoting this with on Instagram. Advertising the cards through anti, just how dumb you are. Anti-vax mom Instagram account, account and accepting payment through Cash App Brazil. Stop the show. You are going to promote a goddamn vaccination phony card scam on Instagram for the whole entire world to see. This is how dumb you are. And then accept payment through Cash App or Zelle. Okay? Now, you're not even worried about you're putting the public at risk. These people with these fake vaccination cards are putting the public at risk. They're putting their self at risk. You don't care about that. All you care about is leaving a sale it up. That's all you care about. And it just goes to show you where people are at in today's generation. And I'm going to tell you like this, especially when it comes to young men, a lot of young men are under so much pressure to have everything right now. 17 year old guys, 18 year old guys. I talked to T.S.I. Johnson a few months ago. A guy 18 years old right now is supposed to have $140,000 a year. Because that's how unrealistic the world is. But let me tell you, young brother, something. Don't mess your life up trying to impress people who don't give a damn about you. If you ain't got it right now, you don't need to go to jail. Because I'm going to tell you right now, you may get away with some, but you're going to go to jail. Eventually, all criminals go to jail. And if people don't like you doing the right thing, then they ain't for you. If you got to steal to get a new car and all that shit, you don't need it. Okay? If you can't pay for it, you don't need it. In the long run, eventually, when you work for what you get, you work with talented people, you build yourself up the right way, you'll have what you want. And by the time you learn that, you probably will, will turn back around and look at that and say, man, you know what? I thought I want that. I don't even need it. Well, no, you have these some of these, these these particular people you know making it very serious for the public safety forging following a conspiracy weaving a salad up all because your lazy ass don't want to work because for you all you want to do is get paid for is just twerking it up I guess there ain't enough money in that huh so now you gotta steal from people now you gotta lie. And I'm telling you, that's just the, it's just the, this whole, people are, are willing to do more, almost anything today just to have a nice car, just to have a, a, a gold watch, just to post it on Instagram and stunt for a group of people who don't even like your ass. Like sometimes I think about flossing on, on my community page, you know. But for what? Like, some of y'all don't care about me. What's the point? You know, and, and, and these ladies out here that don't want to go to school, and I got a, I got a respect, for, a lot of respect for ladies. And I they, they may be feminists, but I'm going to tell you like this. A woman who works and goes to school and gets it, gets it legally, okay, off her own merit, I got a lot of respect for that. But this right here, I don't have no respect for this. This weaving and sailing up, I have no respect for that. And they're going to put your ass underneath the jail. Because now you're playing with the feds. All because your lazy ass didn't want to work. Well, guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you know, all that you do. Subscribe at the bell. Check out the front cover at the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains at an all-time high. I'm